Bravis stand at I I A A Frankfurt 2019 and reported that doing a review on the cars of the Andy Club. Bravis stand I A A 2019 showcasing some of their new cars. Starting off with what's behind you here that S V12. 900 horsepower uh, V12 by turbo and these are the last of the V12s in Mercedes uh, it's an S600 Maybach that's converted to a Bravis uh, 6.5 of course with the displacement increase the turbochargers modified the exhaust system then you have Bravis fine leather and small Bravis uh, details the last of the V12s. Moving to the new cars, the AMG GT uh, four doors. I think a highlight would be the back here. Carbon fiber exhaust dust, titanium with carbon fiber. Now I've seen this, I suspect the uh, Makrakovich. Uh, matte carbon fiber on these tips for the great browns. Uh, diffuser is very deep in lost carbon fiber. You got 800 horsepower based on the 4 liter uh, uh, by turbocharged but with modified turbochargers and exhaust. Wheels are huge. The so 21s. 22s actually. And grab this fine leather. And the finishing on these, much higher level than uh, in the original Mercedes. You can feel the leather difference. This is not the highest spec leather they have. The Alcantara sides, and these embossed leather as well. Actually, 800 horsepower. There's 780 horsepower. 20, 20 horsepower shouldn't be a problem. Highlight: W463A G Class and Travis Adventure Package. Start off with the winch at the front, increased height, at right height. A lot of uh, aerodynamics part, but I don't know why. It comes with a carbon matte carbon fiber uh, hood extension, which looks awesome. It's actually much better than, the, in my opinion, it looks better than the, the gloss version, which is on the Bravis 912. Beautiful finish. Now, where have you seen this design before? It's exact. This is a Bra Bravis trademark uh, slanted tailpipe that you've seen on our Bravis 6.5. It's the exact design. It's nice to see it, how it looks like. Yeah. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. You have an axe. We've seen this axe. It's a one of ten. Full Bravis customization from inside with Bravis fine leather. It just feels like cream. And this computer design, the computer aided stitching. Uh, they, this is not done manually, it's done by computer. computer. And we saw that at the factory tour in 2017. This is a new design for 2019 that they have. Everything is covered in leather. The floor mats, the dashboard, lower dashboard, and you have Alcantara on the top. And it's, uh, it's a much higher level than what we're used to seeing on, uh, on the standard AMG car. Sizer we're looking at 
these are 20 inch country two and we have on this side which is 23 grab a suspension packing coil overs Class 800. Uh, I think what sets it apart are these 23-inch Gravis wheels in black chrome finish. So it looks like chrome, but it's, act but it's actually a finish where it looks like it's black and very distinct. Very distinct here. But once you see the, the, the quality of the finish here, it actually looks like a mirror, a concave mirror. There's no ripples, there's no, uh, it doesn't look like it's actually painted, but it is. It has the new wide star finish. It doesn't have the same cladding as the, as the previous generations where you had Rabus cladding to increase the width on the doors. Now it only comes as a, as a fender extension replacement. And with the set with the cells. Grab a spalvetronic exhaust system, also in quite a distinct finish as well. So this is also in black chrome instead of the stainless steel. Again with 780 horsepower from, turbo, from advanced turbochargers. ECU tune and uh, performance downpipe. Interior wise, quite a difference. It has individual rear seats. They're basically um, uh, carry on from the front seats with the center console. It looks quite distinct. Same finish as uh, with, the, uh, with the, the GV12, but this time in an anthracite. Changes grade, changes shape, purple across the panels. The last generations of the Smart, as you know, the Smart is being discontinued, so uh, this could be a collector at the end when the Smart starts uh, or cease production. But it has so much differences from a, from a standard Smart that you can't consider it this morning. Uh, literally everything has been changed from engine drive train. This has an electric motor and uh, whole complete aerodynamic packages. Interior is completely different. So there's a lot of differences than a standard car. So you can't consider it as as a smart anymore. It's a typical smart car. Just, they just use it as a base.